is the session we're going to be beginning all the episodes here. Because I want to wait for this. And I want to make sure to get the right bonus in my save states, so I can. I can also ensure that I don't have to go through that shit again. By saving my stay. Ain't emulation great? I think so. I mean, I was never a big emulator user before this, I got this console, and honestly wasn't because I was like some sort of collector or gaming snob. It was because emulators were, you know, unless you somehow, I guess, modded a console, which I guess did not want to do. Emulate, em, emulators, yeah, and I'm saving my state here again just in case. Emulators were primarily PC, which I am, uh, like if I'm going to be playing a console game, I want to, ah, crap. Well, you know what, I'm, I'm just a small man, I won't redo anything, but, um, like, if I want to play emulators, I want to play it, or a console game, I want to play it, not even so much with a controller, but on my TV. It's hard to explain why that is. Come over here and die, you son of a bitch, but, like... Because my computer's probably got better resolution than my TV. My TV is, uh... Ah, oh, crap. Mine was a hunk of... A hunk of junk, but, uh... Low quality... Small screen, well, not like super small screen, but small screen budget TV when it came out. To give you an idea of how long ago it was, um, not. Would it have been 10 years ago? It was when the, um... It would have been around the time the PlayStation 4 launched. The original... Mm -hmm. PlayStation 4. And, you know, at the time there was no 4K at the time, and I think the uh, best resolution was like 1080p or something. And this television only does 720. It's not, it doesn't even have a case, literally 720p. It's, uh... Oh, why did I do that? Definitely not a big screen, because, you know... I need it to fit in the small areas that I have. 
Well, I did as a time, and I'm, uh... Basically still loves that opinion. Well, that was a happy little accident. I, uh... And that was not. But anyways, I need, I needed it to fit in a small area because I, at the time I did not have my own living room. It was my, my bedroom. And while that's still true, I can certainly put a bigger TV in here that, like... I use my TV for gaming, not for watching, not for watching movies or streaming or anything. And I want to sit relatively close to my TV. I don't want to like. Ah, oh, crap! I'm taking my sweet ass time. I don't want to, like, um... Be so far back that I'm far away from my TV because my, you know... When I record, I have the, uh... Teeny tiny cords to set up my equipment. And I want to sit near my computer, which is right by my TV. A big screen I'm going to need to sit really far back to, you know, properly enjoy it. And, um, as far as the resolution goes, like, I can't believe I did that, but, like, as far as just pure resolution goes, like, I've seen the sort of quality of the really, really high resolution televisions, and um, I know I am definitely in the minority here, but they are just too much. Just far too much for my approval. Because holy fuck, like they almost have like this quality of um. Being in like almost like a 3D setting, like when a guy, like or when a character turns around, like it, it almost feels like you're watching a people in a box and an actual screen. And I'll be honest, it's just call busy quality of my glasses for all I know. But I legit do not ah oh, crap, I forgot to load. But I legitimately do not like it. It's just far too much. And in regards to the sort of acts of time when I bought the um, TV, like, was there a difference between, say, high definition and standard definition? 
most definitely there is. Is the difference noticeable enough for me to give a damn? No. No, it's not. Like... I don't care for... High definition, in all honesty. Never, never really did, um... Like, hell... Hell well, for me, old tube TVs were fine. Yes, I do remember tube TVs. It's not because I am honestly that old. It's just more of the uh, my parents were that old, and you know we uh weren't exactly of the upper class variety, we were more of the very lower end of middle class if, you know, as the overall best of kinds, as the worst of kinds, we were, um, like it's honestly hard for us to tell because most of the reasons we were poor when we did really was because of bad financial business making the decisions that my dad made. So it's sort of difficult to discern how poor we were, like we were always moving. And I hate moving, just. Always, always hate moving. Like my childhood home was non-existent. Because we were always moving. But that's the truth, it was always a home. Like, we never... lived... in... an apartment. We always lived... in a house. Now, some of those houses were in, uh... neighborhoods that, uh... Let's just say uh, people were sleeping with Kalashnikovs, or people were sleeping with in their cars with a Kalashnikov in the trunk kind of neighborhood. But uh, well, the truth is, I don't know if it was a Kalashnikov per se, but they were sleeping with. Uh, bear in mind, I'm Canadian. They were sleeping with illegal military firearms in the trunk of their car. Like those kind of neighborhoods. But it was still a house. You know? We never lived in an apartment. We always lived... We never even lived in a townhouse. It was always a house. And I swear there are, and I mean, looking back, there are times where, actually, not even times, there are a lot of times where I was honestly of the opinion that, um, why are we living in a house? I mean, sure, the, uh, you're all, I mean, even, 
even as a child, I was sort of confused why we had to live in a house. I think it was because uh, my mother was of the opinion that uh, an apartment was below her. Ah, oh, crap. I don't want to get in the flies anyways, but, um... Like, I just want to say what I saw, it was, I'm saying it was because of, uh... More... Marriage politics and, uh... Anything else, like... The sort of apartments are for... Single, or... You know, they're not meant for families with two children, they're meant for newlyweds or poor people, but I mean... Like, we were poor. Oh, I can do this again, okay. Like, we were definitely, we, de we definitely should not have been living in the houses we should have been living in. We, sh we would have been better off both financially and just overall life experience if we were in a townhouse or a three-bedroom apartment. You know? But for some reason, we always had to live in a house. Towards the sort of, um... tail end of my, or not even childhood, my extremely young adulthood. We were living in a home that, uh, in a nice neighborhood. That we would have been able to stay in and see, uh, People did not, if the uh, divorce and resentment didn't kick in. Let's just say, um, when the divorce happened, my mother was a very um, bitter woman. He wanted to screw my dad over in every which way possible. And this wasn't even during the divorce, this was just during the separation. Like, my mother is a very, at the time, was a very jealous, jealous, yeah. Very jealous resentful woman. And she will deny it to this day, but my mother is a very much a narcissist. Um, like my dad moved in an apartment that was honestly like less walking distance than the walking distance to my school. Which was a definite mistake on his part, but like... But like... There was another woman involved. There was definitely another woman involved. 
Zell in my dad's defense before they uh, officially split, before their marriage was even a uh, year old, turns out that uh, there was also another man involved. So, in regards to who cheated first, it was my mother. And not a lot of people know this because she sort of uh, likes to uh, neglect that little fact. She also likes to give the excuse whenever I bring it up that uh, she did it as an excuse for him to divorce her. Because my dad was going to become a medic. Told her straight off the bat, I need to focus on my schoolwork. Um, wasn't paying. Was focusing more on you know, studies and the marriage. What right? Um, fresh from an emotional perspective is wrong, but from a logical perspective is right. And she decided I'm going to cheat with some guy I work with to uh, give him an excuse to divorce me. Which is a lie. And we all know it. We all know it's a lie. She cheated the other man gave her more attention, the other man gave her sex. People don't cheat to give the other person a reason for anything. They cheat because they want to. That's it. So don't make yourself to be easy, uh victim of it when you're the one who cheated. You cheated because you wanted to. Fuck off. I don't you dare pull that bullshit on me. This video ended up being very long because then I did I I did do a lot of safe and safe stating we also at the end of the game so naturally the levels are all and everybody and bye.